Good morning. Hello. Okay, so today we're going to be doing a review on this romance novel that came up came out about two weeks ago. It's called Training Jia by Nana Pra. I really like the book and I'm going to tell you why. But let's start off first by telling you the plot of this book. Jia Baxter never asked for a personal trainer, yet a former UFC champion is exactly what she got. Determined to make the best of it and share the pounds she gained from stress eating, she dives into training. As they get to know each other, sparks between them become difficult to ignore and Jia's need to discover whatever Lama is hiding grows stronger. For Lama Phantom Piers, Jia is the key to clearing his negative reputation, keeping his business from collapsing and reaching his lifetime goal of opening a center for inner city youths. All he needs to do is ensure that Jia completes the full six weeks of training. However, as their relationship deepens, he begins to wonder if his secret will drive away the best thing to ever happen to him. Love it. It's a beautiful story. Um, you know, uh, we, we are just used to how romantic novels go, you know, the ones that are not dark romance, you know, just the general ones. So the, the plot and the stream of how the book goes is not going to be surprising for any avid romance novel reader. Um, but what I really liked about the book was that it was actually tying to reality. There are many people that are dealing with all kinds of things in their workplaces and these things are having an effect on their health, um, sometimes their mental health or sometimes their physical health. And I was happy that this um, book, though fictional, um, though a romantic novel, was not scared of actually looking into that issue and kind of addressing it and also giving an alternative of how to um, actually how to deal with it, you know. So, um, you know, through the, the protagonists meeting each other and going through what they go through together, there is a change that occurs in, in Gia, you know, and that enables her handle things um, a little bit better for her mental health as well as her physical health. So you have to read the book to find out what it was. Another thing I liked about the book was that, um, of course, it talked about the impact of stress on health, which I just mentioned health earlier, and that the fact that, you know, this issue is actually a hot button topic too, so great. Um, I like the, the protagonist, you know, that he was a UFC champion, you know. For those of us that are of African descent, there are a couple of UFC champions <clears throat> that we have on our hot list. So, you know, having seen someone like that, uh, you know, seeing that romance grow between them, it's just like, oh, hot cheddar for your mind, you know what I'm saying? So, um, actually, I enjoyed reading that. Um, I like the fact who he was. I liked his personality. I like the fact that he was not just all brown. He had a mind. He had a heart. Um, so, that was very nice to see. Then I also like the fact that it was also a hot book. And for many people, you know what I'm talking about when I say the heat was high, you know. Um, and I also like the fact that, you know, that Gia was not, uh, you know, a wallflower when it came to certain kinds of things. She knew what she wanted. And she just, like, basically, everything that happened between them in terms of that was something that was very consensual. Like, she was definitely a part of it. So those are the things I liked about it. There are other things that as you read the book, you're going to find that you like. Um, what I didn't really like was the fact that I didn't think the secret was so terrible to kind of break them up. You know what I'm saying? I was like, mm, is that it? You know, <laughs> Maybe because there are, there are crazy people out there. So you're like, uh, well, that's too tight. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but that was it. That was the only thing I was, I was like, Kind of skeptical about we you know the reason for their breakup I, I just didn't feel that was just warranted you know what i'm saying um but beyond that i hope you get a chance to pick up the book you can pick it up from kindle Barnes and nobles every place you get your books it's literally there you know so i just look forward to getting your thoughts on this book uh, for those that read romance novels yeah um i want to know what you think about it till next time take care and god bless ciao